Hazel McCallion was presented her bottle of booze on April the 26, 2006. This is probably the one clip that most people want to uh, have a view of because of its unusual nature and probably is what resulted in me being arrested on June 7, 2006. I showed up during public question period as I normally do to address City Council on matters which I have not previously informed them of and which has been our democratic, for 30, uh, democratic tradition for uh, 30 years. However, that soon came to an end because of what happened. This shows her, birth, her related birthday gift. I had spent many years researching into Hazel McCallion and other politicians in Mississauga, and I had found a person who had gone on the record as to the mayor's uh, drinking, celebration, and partying habits. This at a time when everybody knew that this senior, more than uh, 80 years old, was driving herself around in her own vehicle, cruising the streets of Mississauga between one event and the other. That's very interesting. Now, on the uh, particular day in question, which was early in the morning, I gave her her birthday gift of her favorite beverage that I have been informed of, Harvey's Bristol Cream. And later on in the evening, she had a major traffic accident. Fortunately, it was only between her car and a, and a pole or two which is really intriguing because she was coming back from a Peel Police uh, awards ceremony at which they all swear up and down there was no drinking whatsoever. Quite fortunately, no one else was injured in this because she traveled straight across a, uh, a pedestrian island and smashed into the front of a uh, sign pole, or rather the pole that you put the traffic lights on, and it's lucky nobody nobody was actually standing there. And she was not seriously injured because her airbags deployed, or rather her car airbags deployed. But at this point it really hit home to the mayor that she really can't have people coming up unscript and asking unscripted questions that would expose their politicians flaws, particularly during an election year, which was 2006. So really, this came down to the end of a democratic tradition for political gains. Also at this particular meeting, in another video clip, you can see where I'm making it known to them that I'm going to be writing their political histories. And the last time I announced that, they sent the police to my door. This is Mississauga, and this is the dark side that most people just don't know about. Oh, before I go, there's one more thing. I would like to um, apologize for missing your birthday. Uh, Hazel, uh, I know it was back in February, so I've got something here for you. I'm sure your staff uh, can pick this up for you. I understand this is your favorite beverage, uh, Harvey's Bristol Cream Sherry, and oh. I wish you uh, many luck, uh, much luck in the next year and in the elections. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> it's very nice of you. <laughs> um, does anybody else wish to address council on any other matter? I'm sure there's a true sentiment behind that, Donald. <laughs> Does anybody else? No? Well, they go on. Well, here we are at the crash zone in 2006. There were Hazel McCallion almost lost her life and could very well have killed other people. In this traffic island behind me, you can see the small uh, warning sign. She went right through that because she failed to make the corner. Right into the steel pole and wrapped her in front of her car around that, and it was completely undrivable. I even talked to the fireman who uh, attended to the, the scene of this. And if it hadn't been for her airbags, indeed, she would have died that night. A lot of people think Hazel McCallion will live forever, and she's strong, strong like a bull, but she's still mortal. And you really have to wonder the toll that this sort of thing has taken on her. But anyways, it's a simple thing like this in the evening where a senior can lose control and it's a shame that the Peel police didn't take her license because quite frankly if any other senior had done that, her license would have been taken.